Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going to be talking about Extreme Z Battle for Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Or Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I apologize. Uh, essentially what's going on is, I've been running this, I am on stage 26. Uh, I know from the live stream, if you guys had followed me there, uh, I ended up getting myself up to 26 from 19 over the past day. I have had some good luck, so what we're going to do here in the video is talk about the team building, or at least the teams that I've been running, all the basic units that you're going to want to try and run on the team. Um, different teams I've played around with, and one team that I found on the Reddit, if you did not pull Golden Angel Frieza. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going over to da DokkanBattleBuilder.com. So, shout out to Dokkan Builder. Duh. Shout out to DokkanBattleBuilder.com and to the wiki for the image. So, let's go ahead and switch over to Dokkan Battle Builder view. Um, now, this is every single resurrected warrior that is an extreme intelligence or an extreme technique type. Now, for this event, extreme intelligence and extreme techniques are going to be the ones you're going to run up through level 30. Uh, before level 15, like up until level 15, you could really run almost anything you want. Uh, as you go on from 15 to 20, it gets very difficult. And then from 20 to 25, it gets insanely difficult. And once you go after 25, it almost seems as if you need that resurrected freezer. That's this guy right over here. Now, we're going to discuss some teams after well we're going to talk about these units here we're also going to discuss that the first one is going to be the team with golden freezer that you're going to want to run if you happen to pull him and we're going to talk about some other teams that you could possibly run with some good rng some good luck uh you might be able to beat the event up until level 30 um you do need some good units in game definitely but uh let's go ahead and talk about it actually we're going to rid of him he's not a revived warrior um so this is wh who we're running with this is every single revived warrior unit that you can possibly have over here you can go over to resurrected warriors over here on dokkanbattlebuilder.com to take a look at a full list that's that's available to us um i personally just went with the ssrs and turs lr bojack will make this a lot easier when he becomes available on this uh, for us on global side if you happen to we'll get lucky enough to pull him but um, right over here, this is who we're going to run with. Right now, um, you have the Demon King Piccolo. He's World Tournament. Bio Broly is free. He's a good blocker. Um, this King Piccolo will, uh, will can stun, but he's not going to be very useful. Or sorry, he debuffs the enemy. He won't be useful because there's no status ailment inflicted on Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Majin and Vegeta used to be good, but he's still here available for us. Korra's good support. Obviously, the uh, technique Golden Frieza, you see everyone running because he is a tank. The Resurrected Warrior Golden Frieza, which is which will help you beat this event 100% if you pulled him. Um, you have this Buff Boo, or is it South Supreme Kai Absorbed Majin Boo? You have regular Boo over here, regular Super Boo. You have Kid Boo. Kid Boo is a really good power player here. You have the two cells, uh, the Intelligence and the Tech one, the OG ones, and you have the other Golden Frieza. So essentially, this Frieza would be here if you didn't have this Frieza. Though I think if this event isn't possible without this Frieza, just because of how freaking much he tanks, this Frieza will not do that much tanking. But anyway, these are all the Resurrected Warriors that you can that will do the most damage on this event and help you tank. Obviously, you're going to want to bring Tech over Intelligence uh, if you're looking for tanking. Um, but some of the Intelligence, like, like this Kid Boo, does so much damage, you're going to want to have him on your team. Now, the first team we're going to talk about is going to be the Optimistic team. This is the team that you will uh, optimally want to run to beat this event. You have the Golden Frieza, the Angel Golden Frieza linked with Golden Frieza for four link skills. You have Universe's Most Malevolent, Revival, Strongest Clan in Space, and Fierce Battle. So they're giving each other four key and 30% attack buff, which is really awesome. Uh, wherever the Angel Goku is going to attack the most, you want this Frieza, the Tech Gold Frieza, to uh, tank all that. And then off of that, you'll have the Intelligence one. The Intelligence one isn't horrible, but because he doesn't have type advantage and it's only a defensive buff, he's not going to tank as much. On rotation, you're going to have your uh, Evil Demon King Piccolo because he's really good support. I believe it's Extreme Type Key plus 3, Attack plus 25%. Let's go over here. Yeah, plus 25%. You are going to have your other Golden Frieza friend off of rotation. That's my opinion on the matter. I don't think he should be on primary rotation because he is only doing, if you give him fit full base dupe system, he's only doing 1 million damage. So I don't think it's really worth it. Um, then you're going to have one of these two on their off rotation. Now, it's whatever one you want. See, the thing is, this Korra over here gives some good key buffs, and you definitely want the key buffs over there. He does two key, and I believe it's attack plus 30% for all allies. So extreme type key plus two. So he will give you some nice key buff and an attack buff. 
but he doesn't tank at all. He gets hit real hard when he gets hit, especially if he gets supered, you're taking 140,000 damage. This Boo over here, on the other hand, while he doesn't have like any major defensive buffs, he does give himself key plus 2 and attack plus 70% when HP is 99% or below, plus he has type advantage, so he will be tanking a little bit better. Um, on the other rotation, you're going to have Kid Boo because he does a lot of damage. Like, I have all three U-Pads unlocked, so I can only base it off of that. He's doing, like, 1.5 million damage to, uh, for, to Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, and obviously, this cell over here. Now, this cell, I had just the top left, bottom right U-Pad um, unlocked, and I only gave him 20... Well, I did give him all 20 crit, but I never filled it out. I ended up filling him the rest of those out, um, for the free dupe system and the top left and bottom right U-Pads. That's all I have available for him. Uh, so that way he's hitting a lot harder. He is a super attack 10 on my team. But he does hit really well. He does get um, crits more of pretty often because he is super level 20 with that or crit level 20 with that. So he will do with a crit usually over 1 million damage. But it also depends on the key orbs you get. Now anyway, this is the most optimal team that I have seen run. You can probably change um, the, the two support, the, the support units over here out for key orb manipulators. But that's up to you depending on how you want to run it. The next team we're going to talk about is going to be the monotech team, a mostly monotech team. So you have the cell still over here, you still have the buff boo. Um, you do have your leader is going to be Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Now he is not the, one of the best leaders at all for this event at all whatsoever. The whole reason why he is here is because he's giving everyone here a nice attack buff, nice stat buffs 120 or all around. Your other leader is going to be the Angel Golden Frieza. Now, you could have both of these guys running together on a team, and then you'll get a really nice stat buff across the board. Unfortunately, your uh, your Intelligence Frieza is not going to get as much buffs, but he links very well with the regular Golden Frieza, so you have 14, 30% attack buff as normal. So he will at least be able to get off his super attacks, and this Golden Frieza will be doing a lot more damage on top of his cell. Now, you could run any of these guys as support if you want to. I did throw Bio Broly up over here. He doesn't link that well with anyone except for the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, and they would obviously not be on the same rotation together unless they started off that way. Um, he is a really good defensive unit. Korra, as I have stated, is really good for key support, so you might want him for that Frieza. Plus, he links well. He does have one link skill with that Frieza, which is Strongest Clan in Space for an additional two key. So, ideally, if you can't get a super attack off, maybe with his two additional key and being in the middle, you'll be able to do it because that'll be a total of eight key. So, you should definitely be able to do it at that point. Um, the other thing is obviously going to be the Evil Demon King Piccolo, you're going to want him here, but pr I'd probably still run this Bio Broly. His a defensive buff of 100% of buff is very useful for this team. The problem with this team is Broly, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, even if you only give him one orb because he's not a revived warrior, he gets murdered if he gets super attacked. Now, I mean, there's really nothing you can do about that. He's going to get hit really hard, you just need to pray for RNG, but this is still a very viable team. Um, I would prefer to run this. Plus, the kid, the Boo and the um, the Cell do link decently for together. Uh, Fierce Battle for 15% and Big Bad Bosses. The problem is there's no key there at all. Um, it's very difficult. That's why you kind of want to have uh, Korra over here because he'll at least give the two key and it'll make it a, lot, a little bit easier. Uh, plus, on the setup, because these guys are linked together, chances are you're not going to need as much key. So, you'll be able to better set up your next round for this Cell because you obviously want Cell to get all the key because he will do a lot more damage that way. But anyway, that's, that's just one way you could set it up. Um, I think this is probably going to be one of the best ways you can set it up if you don't have that Frieza. Uh, just watch out for that Broly. See if you can set up a, your round with him on rotation. Um, well, while he's on rotation, to not get attacked. But anyway, let's go over the next one. Next one is going to be the Mono Intelligence team. Now, personally, I think this is only going to be good up until like round like 17, 18. Um, I have not had any luck with this outside of it, but I feel like I had to mention it regardless, just because there is a lot of damage that output that can be done here. Um, now, obviously, as I've said before, the the Intelligence team for Extreme does not have good key, so you need to have good key support. So obviously, you're going to want to have the tech. Piccolo over here, you're going to want the Korra, you could even have Turles over here. Now the problem with this is they don't, the ones that are not here or that are not Resurrected Warriors don't tank well. Even Janemba. Janemba doesn't tank as well. He tanks a little bit but not really that much as compared to the rest of these guys. Um, you do have a lot of key regeneration. The biggest problem is when Super Saiyan 3 Goku launches a super attack. When he launches that super attack, you're pretty much done. There's no, there's no avoiding it. These guys are going to take a lot of damage. Um, you can throw like 
Frieza up in here so you could have him on rotation with the Golden Angel Frieza. So if he launches a super attack, maybe you could throw this Frieza there for those buffs. The thing is, this Frieza is going to suffer for the same way that this Frieza suffered without that, uh, that's not the technique lead. Um, but you should be good just because he's at least going to have the four key if you link him with the Golden Frieza if it falls that way. Um, Janemba is there, uh, Super Saiyan, well, it's not Super Saiyan, regular Vegeta is there. Um, so that way they're really good support. All the guys on the right hand side, except for Janemba, all these guys are really good support units, by the way. Um, and then you have your options between Buhan and this Boo. Personally, you could probably throw this Boo on here and get Buhan out. Uh, Buhan's really good for help, for helping you, um, get, heal yourself. But this Boo will share an additional two Link skills, but he shares a total of 10, 20, 35, <laughs> 40, 40, 50, 50, 75% attack buff when HP is 80% or below, plus does 3 HP regeneration. So these guys are going to link very, very, very well together um, for at least attack buffs. You can make this kid do hit really hard, especially when you have one like Vegeta, let's say, over here on rotation for an additional 40%. This kid boo is going to be doing ridiculous damage. Now, at that point, you are playing RNG. You need to have crits on this Kid Buu. You need to have double attacks on this Kid Buu. You literally would need to get the perfect setup where he launches a double super attack and gets a crit on at least one, preferably both of them. Now, it's happened. It's actually happened to me on one of the earlier stages when I was on stage like 2021 20, or something like that. I got a double super attack from Kid Buu with crit, and it was ridiculous. He just literally almost one-shot him. He got him down to like half of our health. Um, when by the time Kid Buu was finished with him and then it wrapped it up and I had lost only like 80% well 20% of my health I had 80% of health left now obviously that's not gonna happen every time but it can happen you're praying for RNG but this is one way you can definitely do it you will be playing this event a lot more often with this team until you can get that really golden setup it's only gonna happen once and the chances of it happen are probably like 1 in 50 or 1 in 100 I don't know I've been playing for the past 24 hours or more, and I have not beaten stage 26 yet. <laughs> um, anyway, I've tried this team out. I think this is a good team if you're good with uh, RNG. The thing is, you need some rainbow characters in here for this to work for you. So this Boo would either need to be rainbow or at least the top left, bottom right tube path. Uh, this Boo over here doesn't need that, but you would you would benefit for having some dupe system fed into him. This Golden Frieza uh, definitely wants some crits on there, plus he's good for tanking. Um, and that's really about it. Everyone else over here, you don't really need dupes fed into them uh, just because they're more for support if anything you're going to want the dupe system for defensive purposes but that's this team that's the intelligence team let's go over to the next one now this is the team that i have been personally running and i have had this is the team that actually got me from 20 to 25 and that's why i'm on 26 right now so i have bardock as my leader because i want that st those stat buffs key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent i have a friend golden freezer angel i have my golden freezer uh, he is not full dupe system, but he is crit. He does have 20 crit, um, and he does have double attack on him, or whatever the base is for that. Um, I do have my Kid Boo, and I link him here with Buff Boo. Now, I have beaten this. It's very difficult to beat this. You can beat this event with this team. Um, you really need to... Re what, what I've been doing is I've been relying on double crits, double super attack crits from uh, my tech Frieza, and double crits or at least one crit because getting boo to do a double attack is ridiculous um but at least getting crits off he does get some nice crits off so you can go ahead and have him do that um now i have gotten very lucky with this but it literally is just that i have gotten this this goku on stage 26 down to a sliver of health literally just a sliver of health if any of these guys had one more do path open i probably would have beaten the level <laughs> i was very upset three times i've gotten him to the point where he literally just had like a, a hair of health left and then i died because he didn't a, a super attack on me but anyway this is a very good viable team if you want to try and run this the next one is going to be one that I had found out on the Reddit that I checked up on the Reddit. So this one is essentially you're you're basing everything off of key orb manipulators. This is by Kerinkt, Kerinkt, Kerinkt. It was posted 23 hours ago. This is the team that he's running. He has his kid, his friend uh, Angel Frieza. Uh, his, so his friend Angel Frieza is definitely going to be there for some good support. Primary rotation with him is going to be the Golden Frieza as always. As you as you notice over here, you, it's the same exact team as that I've been running. Um, also, the one other way that I've run this team, I've, I'm sorry, I should have also mentioned this. I just noticed that it wasn't here. Um, I have, I, I will swap out my cell and this boo on and off because I've, I've beaten a couple, one or two levels between 20 to 25 with a boo as well, with uh, my cell as well. So switching these guys out, depending on the situation, try, try each of these because both of these guys are good power players for me. 
Um, anyway, back to what I was saying here. So Cell is over here and Kid Boo. Those guys are going to be primary rotation because Cell tanks very well. If you fed dupe system into him, he gets about four or five key uh, key orbs. He's definitely going to be doing a lot of damage. So your primary thing over here are your key orb manipulators. You have two key orb manipulators over here. You have a super fat boo, super good fat boo, um, and super technique, um, super saiyan barak. And you also have the king piccolo, which I talked about before. He links with no one on this team. But these two are key orb manipulators, and they're both technique type. They will help you out for your cell. Really, ideally, you just want all this to go to cell, and cell's just going to body everyone. Cell's going to body everyone. Kibu's going to body everyone. Um, Angel, Golden Frieza's going to body everyone. And regular Frieza, well, Golden Frieza is going to body everyone. Thing is, you were, you really need to get lucky with the super with the attacks from the enemy. Super Saiyan 3 Goku will need to super attack both Cell and Golden Frieza all the time in order for you to survive this. Um, and these key orb manipulators will make sure that Cell, you really want to make sure that Cell gets those orbs, can get those attacks off. Now, just over here, just to expand upon that, because I know, like, this will, um, people might want to try this team out as well. Um, these are other key orb manipulators that do not, well, the, the one intelligence one changes to rainbow. Um, I forgot what it is. What is this? It's tech T, tech key spheres to rainbow key spheres might not be the best overall because you'll take away the regeneration but if if there is tech in the way um of the uh, of the um rainbow orbs it will it will still help out sell let me put it like that um remember you do have the new sr 17 hellfighter 17 that doken awakens into this extreme super 17 he changes strength key to text key so that's definitely going to help out a lot because first off he's an extreme unit he may not be resurrected warrior which i kind of feel like he should be um, just because the 117 was revived technically from hell in order to make that, but whatever. I mean, it's all semantics there. Um, I don't really care enough about it, but he is going to be here. He's an extreme tech type, so he will at least block a little bit better. Um, I guess super tech type blocks better because super against super is, you know, less damage, but regardless, he is key to key, which is really awesome. Um, you also have this Gotenks, which is Agility to Rainbow, and obviously the two that I have up here. Oh, and this Goku up here. Now, I'm not a big fan of Rainbow to Tech or Rainbow to Type, but he is there for some of you who might want to try that out. Um, these are all good keyword manipulators if you want to try this team out. I mean, any of these, even for the team that I was running over here, any of these guys would be pretty freaking good to, to run. I mean, honestly, I, this is almost the same exact team that this guy was talking about. Um... Actually, this is the same exact team that this guy was talking about, <laughs> except he was running key orb manipulators and I wasn't. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out actually per on my personal account since I haven't done that yet. But these are all different ways that you can run it if you don't have um, uh, an actual intelligence Frieza. Personally, I don't think you can run this event without at least one friend. I'm sure you can get lucky with like a double Super Saiyan 3 Broly lead or maybe a double Kid Buu lead. I personally think that the only way you could really do this though is to have a friend. Luckily, I have not even friends because I do have a couple friends that have him, but I have a lot of people that aren't friends that show up on my friends list with him as Doken Wakened. Um, I believe you're looking for 1,200 attack stat or more um, for him to have at least base dupe system. Anyone at 10,000 hasn't fed in dupe system yet. You can do it, but he'll at least do a little bit more damage when he's at 12,000 or more. But anyway, guys, that is the full, uh, I guess you could call it team building guide, team building suggestions for this event. Good luck to all of you because I have definitely had some trouble trying to get this event i really want to get this guy um doken awaken or z extreme z awaken up to full level one uh, 130 or 150 what is it um <laughs> 140 so maybe i can um i'll let you guys know i'll keep you guys posted on it. good luck let me know what teams you've been running if the ones that i have suggested um didn't match um what you guys are running let me know what you have done to get past stage let's say well, up to stage 130 um with your teams that, that is not what i had mentioned here but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, I'll catch you guys down in the comments below. Peace.